Hey guys, it's me again. Um, this is gonna be probably the only video I'm gonna be doing for a while, because I've been doing a lot lately. Um, so either until I finish that challenger with the clear coat and everything, or until I get more, uh, once I get this into a rolling chassis, probably I'll do another video. But, uh, here's what I've got done. I got the front, uh, assembly glued in. And, uh, this is just, uh, a silver base. Same silver as this with Testor's, uh, revving red. Misted over it to make, like, a anodized almost look. It was supposed to look like a candy, but it covered up too much. Um, I was gonna use, uh, the clear red for brake lights, you know? And airbrush it on, but my compressor wasn't working. And I tried it with the brush and couldn't get it to look right. It was the look I wanted, but the brush strokes and the unevenness to it I didn't like, so I just used this and I just kind of went and misted it on and it still covered up too much. So I got the suspension stuff. Um, I got all the shocks painted. I used the clear, the brake, brake clear for that, because the small pieces of the brush strokes wouldn't show up. But I don't know if you'd be able to see this, but how you can still see the chrome through it so it almost looks like a candy red that's the look I was going for but it didn't work out uh... wheels I think I decided what I'm gonna do on these wheels if I can figure out how in the heck to mask them I might use a liquid mask if I can find it anywhere um, Alex Kidd mentioned in a video to paint the lip of the rim black. Now, if these tires were white walls, I would totally do that. But I think what I'm going to do is, depending on what color I paint the body, which brings me to another uh, question I need you guys to answer. This is either going to be an orange or a blue. And blue and orange are complementary colors. So, if I paint the body a light orange, I'm going to paint the rims, the lip of the rims, a dark blue. And if I paint the body a light orange, or a dark or bleh, a dark orange, I'm going to paint the rims a light blue. And vice versa with dark blue, light orange, light orange, dark blue, um, or light blue, dark orange, or, you get what I mean. Light color here, dark color here. So... Um, and that brings me to, like I mentioned, my next question. I have, I'm going to put up four colors. Uh, the first one is burnt orange metallic. The next one is, uh, pearlescent mango, I believe it is. And then the next two are, uh, one is icy blue. I don't remember what the other one, but, uh. But, uh, leave a comment which one you think would look better on this car. I'm kind of going with the pearlescent mango or the light, the light metallic blue. Um, and then what I was planning to do with work on this, um, like paint work, is, uh, the whole thing will be one color, obviously, and I might I might do two black stripes, but I don't know. Everybody does black stripes, and with the hood being this way, I don't think I will. Um, I'll probably do something along the body line. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, a water drop on this, and it's going to go from the front, and it's going to taper back. A little bit on the hood and then it's gonna taper so it'll it'll be like this and then it's gonna come off the sides um, like it were in the rain or something I'm gonna like taper it back like that um, that's the plan anyways 
I was going to do the whole car, but I think that would be too distracting and it looks stupid. So I'm just going to kind of taper it. Which, I have no idea how I'm going to taper that, but... I might, um, I might, I might, uh, do like a black top or something. I don't know. I need, uh, need some advice. You know, it almost looks like a cougar like that. The, um, I forget what year it was, but the cougars. It almost looks like one of them. Weird. Maybe I'm weird. Whatever. Um... It's going to have actual hood pins, like functioning hood pins, hopefully, if I can find the uh, little stuff for it. Um, I'm not going to give away all my secrets, although uh, I think Corvair Guy 69 is almost done with his model, so I don't think he would go and like copy my stuff unless he wants to redo his whole model, which I don't think he does. It came up pretty good. Uh, I don't think I don't know if he painted the body yet or not. I've seen like the chassis and everything, and that looks good. Um, Alex Kidd has painted the body, I think, on the Monza spider he's doing, and uh, not a whole lot more than that uh, that I can tell. I didn't watch all of the videos, but um, I might get uh, photo etch disc brakes since the. Uh, the original brakes don't Let's see if I can find a, a brake drum for you. The original brake drum holes are that big. And those are like that. So I'd have to drill those out. So I might just get disc brakes, but I don't know, the rims are so big, you really wouldn't even see the disc brakes anyways. So <laughs> I am uh, contemplating a lot of things if you guys would want to uh answer that. So, yep, let me know what you think. Well, my dog's got the right idea. It's about time to go to sleep, take a nap. So, uh, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching, guys.